what's doing, guys? You're watching Fresh Final Reviews. Today, we're going to be looking at some Marmot figures. Bam! That's what's up. Mmm. Okay, so what's going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at some more Marmot figures. Yes, I'm going to try to mix it up a little bit as I said in my last Marmot video because I'm kind of getting a little stale, I feel like, for myself doing X Plus reviews. So I figured I got like, again, like I said, I got two other shelves over here with other figures that are not X Plus that I like to talk about. Um, and I still have stuff in bins that I'm going to take out eventually. I'm going to review those, some M1 stuff and some other Marmot stuff. So today we're looking at the G-Fest 25 um, it, well, they're exclusive to G-Fest 25, uh, Marmot figures that were sold at Mike Johnson's table, um, and these are Marmot figures, yes, we said that already, so what is it? It's a Desugoji and a Rose Form Biolante. First thing I'm going to say is, yes, we're missing the vine here. No, we're not missing it, it's just broken off, um, this was kind of something common, unfortunately, at G-Fest 25, when collectors picked up their, their figures, um, this vine in the back was, it just doesn't have a very good glue seam and I've glu glued it once before and it fell off again. So I got to clean it up and do it again. Um, so it's just a glue seam. So if you had one and, and it broke off, it's not a big deal. I mean, it's, it's not a big deal. Just glue it, clean it up and you'll be good to go. And it should fit on nice and easy just like that. Okay. Um, these are both glow in the dark figures. They are really awesome glow in the dark figures. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the Desugoji first. Um, one of the most popular, if not the most popular Marmot sculpt that exists. There are, I, I don't know how many exist. There's, I think, a collector out there. My bu buddy James, he has like 30 of them. He's getting close to 30. There's some people I don't know, 40 or more. There's some guy on Instagram that's all he does is post Desugojis, it's nuts, it's ridiculous, so who knows, there's probably like a hundred different variants out there, um, I have five, at one point I had ten, and then I sold off five of them, maybe I had twelve at some point, I don't remember, I did a video way back when, when I had like five of them, I think, um, and I sold off the ones that I just, meh, just didn't need to keep, and I kept the ones, and I'm gonna do a separate video at the end, or, you know, at some point with just the Desugojis uh, as to ones that I have right now, okay? So, the Marmot Desugoji, very popular figure. Um, Mike Johnson's been known to bring Marmot figures to G-Fest that are exclusive, limited runs. Um, one of the first ones that, one of the, fir the, the first G-Fest exclusive that I got that I should have had in this video, but I'm going to do several one on that. Um, I just wanted to keep to these, but one of the first G-Fest exclusive figures that I got was a Marmot Desugoji. And that was back in 2014. So it's a very, very popular sculpt. Um, as I said, it's just mean looking. It's, it's a great sculpt. Dorsal plates look awesome. Uh, and these figures are known to have, obviously with Marmot uh, Monster Heaven, crazy stylized paint jobs, as we see here. Um, yeah, there's actually, I don't even know if there's a standard Burning Godzilla <laughs> Actually, there is. I mean, it's mostly, you know, burning patches like we see here for the highlights. Um, but this has got a gimmick to it. But the original one, it's more of a glossy paint job. Actually, the original, original one, I have two of them. I'm going to stop talking about those. And I'm going to do that as my next stylized video because I should be talking about these. Okay. So let's get back to it. These guys were, I think there was like 60 of them or 30 of them. Maybe 30 of each. 40 of each, 25 of each. Crap, I don't remember. Um, it was either 30 or 60 total. 30 of each. And I can't remember now. There's not, there wasn't that many. Might not even been that 60. Probably just 30. I can't remember. They were, let's see, this was like $200. This was like $175. Okay. And they're awesome. Yeah, they are. The, the exclusive figures at G-Fest have become, have become like 
what are, what are we going to see this year? You know, it's kind of builds up in July. You know, we'll start getting a couple teases. My last video, Chibi Goji Toys, Linda Conrad, she did hers. And, you know, those were popular when they came out. And there was another set that came out, G-Fest 25 as well. It was a Kiryu Goji and Kiryu. Kiyu, however you pronounce it, stupid name. And um, it's really cool. So it's something to look forward to if you're going to G-Fest. And if you're a Sofubi collector, vinyl collector, stylized collector, marmot collector, whatever you want to call it. Um, and, and you would have gotten these. So I'm rambling so much. I haven't even had a cup of coffee today. It's kind of sad. <laughs> so um, this Godzilla figure, he's painted in, it's actually, uh, the vinyl is painted like a base layer with glow because it glows in the dark. It's then sprayed over with black highlights, as we can see across the, 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 the better part of the body. But as far as the burning patches, because it's Godzilla 95, Desugoji, we got the burning patches highlighted with orange, red. Is actually it looks like there's some purples in there too. Um, so that's on the thighs, the stomach, the chest, and the arms. So that looks really good. The dorsal plate to paint it up yellow and orange. It almost looks like that there is some speckled. I think it's just the way it's painted. It almost. It almost. I thought there was like glitter in them when I first saw them last year, but there's not. So that looks pretty cool. The eyes are uh, gold and red, so those pop I like. It's one of the things I love about the Desugojis is the eyeballs. It's not just like a flat eyeball color. They are, you know, there's an iris and the, the, the pupil itself and the whole eyeball. So that looks really nice. Um, again, the sculpt is really nice. Tail, it's a short tail for this figure, which that's okay. It doesn't take up that much shelf space, especially when you're trying to cram you know, four of them on one shelf in your Detolf, which is a glass shelf from Ikea, if you don't know what a Detolf is. Um, so the tail, just short, stubby, kind of just curls up out of the way. And as far as the glow parts, we'll, we'll show a picture at the end with both of these glowing up. But, you know, the toenails, the fingernails, the dorsal plates, the tail, you know, parts of his face all glow up. So that looks really good. Biolante. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I've always wanted a rose form Biolante figure. I currently only have one, two, three. And the first one that I got was this guy here with the X plus 30 centimeter 89. That was my first rose form Biolante. But I really wanted the Marmot one for a long time. I stayed away from it. I didn't get one because I was like, ah, they're so expensive. You know, I see them on Yahoo Japan or eBay for like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, like five, six hundred bucks. It's like ridiculous, you know. And... Um, what was it? It was probably the spring of 2018. I finally got one and it was this one here. So I was like, yes, I finally got a rose form by Alante. You know, I dig this one. I like the paint job. It's pretty, uh, it pops and whatnot. There's, a, there's another one. I'm stuttering because I should have had coffee, but there is another one out there that has a different paint scheme, but I like this one better. And so I was like, cool. I got my rose form by Alante. So when it was revealed that we're going to have an exclusive Rose Form Biolante, I'm like, ah, darn it. And now I have two. Not the worst thing in the world because one of the original ones and we have the G-Fest exclusive, which you can't go wrong for anyways. Um, so that's really neat. As you can see over here, you know, this is what the vine looks like propped on. So I just need to clean mine up and attach it up and we'll be good to go. Boom. It's going to have to go like something like, like yay, like that. Okay. Anyway, so Biolante, I'm going to get this one out of the way because we don't need them up here, just for a little comparison. Biolante, this one glows a lot. There is a lot of glow on this. We have, again, it's a base paint or base vinyl. The vinyl is actually glow vinyl. Then painted over with some greens, orange, uh, yellows, no orange here, um, some light pinks and purple shades, and it looks really good. The, the bud, the rose, painted again, glow with pink. Teeth are uh, painted silver highlights, so that looks really awesome. And th this this thing is like a like a glow worm. You ever had a glow worm for you '80s babies? Um, this thing glows a lot. You could probably go into the mines of Moria with this and uh, find your way through. I don't know if you're gonna be able to stop the um, the Balrog from crossing the bridge. Just you know, don't try it. Just grab the vinyl and run. Anyway, so yeah, so. Figure's awesome. One little tidbit about this figure when it came out. I've had since fixed mine and many of the other collectors that I know that had this at G-Fest. This was actually put on backwards. When it was assembled, the stomach here was on the back. And, you know, it was almost like, oh, you didn't even notice it because it almost looks like it seamlessly flows on both sides. But the dead giveaway was the stomach, the yellow, was on the back of the figure. So what you had to do is get a hairdryer, 
Vinyl it up, squishy soft up uh, Biolante here. Take off the two vine arms and turn the whole figure around. And then stick the vine arms back on. So it's kind of like like pain in the ass because this stuff gets really soft pretty quick. You know, and you, there's always a concern when you're heating vinyl up. If you heat it up too too much, you could possibly tear it. I've never had that happen before. Um, there was one time I was doing some squishy soft action on an X Plus Godzilla 64 25 centimeter. I went to go put the tail on, and because I was heating up the Godzilla's butthole, the this, the dorsal plates. Because on all almost all Godzilla figures, with the exception of model kits, um, the the dorsal plates are like a separate piece. So I was going to put the tail on, and the whole piece kind of kind of just loosened up and came off a little bit at the end, but just glued it was good to go, not a problem. But anyway, you just want to be careful. So that's what we had to do with this figure when we got it. Um, now, little awesomeness about these two is they are both autographed, okay? Both autographed by Megumi Odaka and Ken Pichiro Satsuma. They were both at G-Fest 25. So really, what two b better way to get two autographs from the two guests that were there than on the figures that they represent? Obviously, Megumi Odaka. She was Miki Sagusa in the Godzilla Heisei films. Um... And, you know, so she was her first Godzilla movie was Godzilla vs. Biollante. OK, so she signed it. She actually signed mine a lot. Um, she put too rich with a heart. Uh, Megumi Odaka, my friend, she wrote that on like everybody's. Um, I believe this is her name over here. She wrote a, a, drew a little emoji and then she wrote best whiz. W H I S like almost like wheeze from Dragon Ball. Super. Uh, but she spelt it wrong, so she scribbled it out, wrote sorry with an arrow pointing to it, and then wrote wishes underneath that and the date that she signed it. Really, really awesome. I got a kick out of that because I was watching her sign it. I watched her make the mistake, and it was just adorable because, you know, it was so genuine, and she was like, oops, and uh, she fixed it. So no complaints for me. It's like, it's, it's awesome. Then over here we had uh, Ken Satsuma. He signed the bottom of the tail. Good spot to do it. And good thing about, you know, I was very careful. I made sure they used black Sharpie because um, one of my other Marmot figures, the uh, Satsuma used gold Sharpie and it's, it's a little tacky. So something that you can do with your figures to protect the, and this is why I have this little um, blanket thingy here uh, for the figures because you don't want to be moving them all over your shelf because it can damage the autograph. So something that you can do is go to Walmart Get yourself a clear coat can of spray paint. It's a, a Krylon clear coat and spray the bottom of the figure. Now, if you want, you can be careful. You could, you know, plastic bag, you know, the rest of the figure, just expose that area. Same thing for Godzilla's tail. Do a couple sprays back and forth, cover it, and you're basically sealing the, the autograph. Same thing on Godzilla's tail. Um, you don't want to spray too close because if you're familiar with using paint can, uh, spray cans, you know, you don't want it to run or whatever. Uh, and that way you protect the, the autograph. I did that with one of my figures that are in the shelves over here. I don't know which one it is. There's a howler. I have a howler somewhere. Actually, it's not even in my shelf case that I'm looking at it now. It's packed up. I'm going to do another. I'm going to do a howler video probably after my next X Plus video because there's some autographs on that I don't want to talk about. Okay. So anyway, so the figures are awesome. They're about uh, 10 to 12 inches tall. They're really beautiful. They're really fresh. You know... I mean, and Desugojis, you can't go wrong with Desugojis, okay? So that's my story about these figures. And getting this signed, I actually, because I'm going to have to show the picture. I think if I didn't already, probably did because I'm going backtracking. It was awesome because I already, I got another Desugoji signed by Satsuma. So awesomeness. And it's a glow-in-the-dark one too. Mm. Okay? All right. So that's my review. I probably rambled too much about these. But anyways, you know, it's something fun to talk about other than saying, oh, yeah, X plus, you know, it's a uh, guy. Great peep, paint detail, grooves, charcoal, blah, 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 like I said, okay? All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next Fresh Final Review. Bam. <laughs>